Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the things that most people don't really talk about or care about uh, when buying a camera or setting it up for a professional shoot. Whether you're shooting corporate interviews or you're on a production, one of the things that are always top of mind is going to be the power of your camera. Let's get Power plays an important, important role in any production. You don't wanna stop in the middle of recording someone, especially for a corporate style interview. People have time schedules and there isn't a lot of time to play around. Your battery is gonna last, internal battery maybe is gonna last an hour, an hour and 20, depending on the age of the battery and it's not gonna power your monitor and that goes hand in hand. How many times have you been on a shoot where you used uh, one of these older batteries on your monitor, either the monitor died out or in the middle of the shoot, your camera ran out. So I know I bring a ton of extra little batteries and keeping track of them, I literally number them, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll bring it that many to shoot just to make sure I'm backed up. And if one battery's kind of failing, I have a backup of that. The issue with that is it's A, it's bulky, and they're not giving you a lot of power. Um, I've been using V-mount for the last, I don't know, three and a half years. And prior to that, on any sort of professional cameras, always use the V-mount. Uh, the reality of it is it supplies more power and it's one battery that can control and power up a few things on your camera. So are they important? Well, maybe to some it might not be, but for any type of shoot, you're gonna need those batteries. Let's talk a little bit about battery types, just so we clarify what we're talking about here. So you've got your traditional MPF batteries, which you're gonna use for monitors. Some cameras use these as well. So think about it. Some cameras mostly use two, maybe one, but mostly two. So you gotta bring at least six of these guys to power for a, a day shoot if you're gonna be doing that. Something like the Komodo, if you don't have a V-mount battery on the back, that's one thing. If you are running any of the Sony cameras or the Canon cameras, you're gonna have these style batteries here. Now these are great, but on every shoot, I bring at least two to three per camera. Uh, so that's that. And then beyond that, you're also now bringing all the chargers that go along with it and the cables and everything else that goes along with that. Now, that's been fine uh, if I go for a short kind of shoot and I can get away with that, but realistically, I really trust uh, V-mount batteries or you know, just using them as having a power source. So typically there's gonna be three styles of batteries. These can go all the way to 190 plus. This one's 175, but there's 160s, 150s. These are fairly large, fairly heavy, and I use these on my bigger cameras. Now, some of them have some USB connectivity um, and you've got your D-Tap that you can hook up extra things to, but a lot of them don't have it. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get some sort of, you know, signal here to let you know how much is left on the battery in the display, that's a plus. But this battery is not gonna work with a setup like this. A, it's too big, I'd have to push everything back to make this fit and it'd make this camera set up way too heavy. Uh, this one's really nice, I have to say. Uh, this was sent to us by MoMan. And what's great about this, it's a 99 power battery. And this has, it's basically a mini V-mount. Don't have to worry about charging these because these came with a USB cable and you could charge it directly through AC without having, you know, other sort of things to kind of grab along with you. A battery like this should last you about two and a half hours, three hours, depending on uh, what you're doing. So I recommend at least having two of those if, if you're going for a full day shoot and the ability to charge one while the other one is obviously running. Um, I wanted to see this, this actual battery because I really like how big this screen is telling me um, how much is charged and also all the inputs that are going in there. Let me pull this one off for a second just so you can see. You've got this power indicator here, which is really nice. So you just press it, you'll get the power uh, indicator there. Let's look at some of these connectors here. I've got uh, an AC connector here, which I can connect. I've got a USB in here as well. And I've got a USB-C, which is really nice because the majority of stuff is USB-C. Um, and we've got another uh, D-tap here on the side, which is great. So if your camera or if you don't have a box itself uh, to connect one, you can do it directly to your battery or have an additional one as well. Uh, the battery's fairly light. It's built pretty rugged, looks beautiful. All right, so right now we have the monitor. We have the camera also charging on here. I'll show you what that looks like and I'll get a close up of it. But 
If you look, it's got a little bit of a charging icon here. Uh, and how I have it hooked up is I have it hooked up to the USB-C from the camera to the battery uh, up on the battery. You can use a USB-C uh, connection to USB-C or you can use a regular USB to USB-C as well if that's something you wanna do. Um, again, love the slick form factor. Um, I'm using a V-mount uh, distributor on the back, which uh, is giving me that power and I can leave some links there about it. But the battery itself, I have to say, is nice, it's clean, it's beautiful, I love the touch screen on it. Um, and I'm gonna run this and see how long uh, this will last. So let me pull this aside. It has an upgraded BMS management and built-in Panasonic power cells uh, that provide more charging cycles. I really love that they're using Panasonic here, they're a well, well-known brand, uh, and that's nice, and I really love the casing of this uh, battery. Uh, it's capable of 150 watt output and a 12A constant current. Um, if you really wanna find out more information, you can go to Moman's site. I will leave a link below, and they may actually be running a promotion or a contest, and I'll share that link. Uh, so you can get some value from that if you can, if you're interested. So if you're looking at it realistically, let's take a look. So it's calling about five hours. If I click it again, I should get the, the percentage. So I'm at 99% with this battery. Let's go back five hours. So about five hours uh, to shoot with this. So that's a nice day's shoot for a camera like this with this setup. Not bad. Now you could use this to run some of your lights. Again, the pricing of it is what's gonna make the difference. It seems like a quality battery. The fact that they're using Panasonic internal uh, recharging batteries, I think is a nice plus. The other great benefits of having a V-mount is you can charge your laptop, you can charge your phone, anything kind of on the go. And I think having two of these is really a smart way to go. So thanks again for watching guys. I will see you on the next one.